Hey guys, welcome back. My name is GK. Have you ever had this question in your mind? How can your application can talk to GCP APIs from outside of uh, GCP? Or how can you control what specific permissions you want to give to your VM inside GCP to talk to GCP APIs? So by the end of this video, you're going to learn about service account, uh, which is part of Go um, Google Cloud's IAM. And then I'm going to demonstrate by creating a VM and creating a service account attached attach their service account to the VM and give specific permissions to that service account so that VM cannot do any other operations beyond what we give. So if I have to start with by demonstrating something on my whiteboard, like what exactly service account. So think of um, service account as a special account. So special account that can be used by your application or a VM, but not by a user, right? So generally what we do is, you know, when we go to the Google console, let's say that, you know, you are a user and you have an email address, right? In my case also, I have an email address. Um, I'm the admin of my Google console, right? And I have direct access to all the GCP services. Pretty much like I can, you know, talk to anything, any service, or I can go to Google Cloud Shell, you know, create a new project, which means that because I'm admin, I have all the permissions. So that's at the user level. But let's say you have an application, you know, that's sitting inside a VM, right? And there is an application here. So this application should talk to GCP services. Like this application, if it if application wants to talk to cloud storage or you know if wants to talk to cloud functions so this app should have the permissions to do certain operations on on the cloud storage or cloud functions right and similarly there would be a case where you know you are coming from on prem or from a different aws cloud or from a different cloud right and your your uh, you have a vm here where your app is residing and now you have, you want to talk to storage cloud storage or um, cloud functions so these are the scenarios where you would be using service accounts because you know service accounts are like i've said a special accounts where a user it is not attached to a user it is it is it is um, you know used by a vm or an application to talk to talk to or they are authorized to talk to gcp apis right so this is at a very high level now let's go to the google console and then so before that let me show you the notes which i have taken so i told you about the service account you know and why service account belongs to your, your application rather than individual user. And I'm going to show you the important commands that are important for the for when we are doing this demo for compute engine and as well as you know assigning the scope to a compute engine. And the best practices. So when we create a service account, so the best practices that you know Google recommends is that if you remember my last video where I was creating the VM, right? So that VM was using a default service account. Now, whenever you log into the Google Cloud uh, console for the first time, or whenever you activate, you know, Compute Engine or App Engine, so these two services will have their default service accounts. So those default service accounts can talk to you know the GCP services inside. Like for example, if you have an application inside the Compute Engine, or if you have an application that's inside the App Engine. If the application wants to perform certain operations on, you know, the functions or if the app inside a VM should perform operations on, you know, Google Cloud Storage. So the service account will be attached to the VM uh, or an app engine and that service account will have permissions to those. So these are the default service accounts. And the service accounts that we are talking about or that you're going to see in the demo is, is what we are going to create manually. That's like the user based service accounts where you're going to define exactly what permissions that you want to give to the service account so that you know that service account can or, or the vm that is 
using the service account can perform operations or app or an app inside the VM. So what Google recommends as a best practice is that you create your own service account. Don't use the default service account, rather create your own and define the role or give specific roles to the service account. Now, when we talk about roles, there are three important roles, like three types of roles rather. So the primitive role, predefined role and the custom role. Now, the primitive roles came from uh, long before, like that's why they're called as primitive back in those days when Google Cloud came came for the first time, was created for the first time. They have used uh, primitive roles like owner, editor, or viewer. So if you are a project owner, like in my case, I am the project owner, I can you know delete the project or do on all the operations inside the project. So that's the project owner. An editor is a you know step below to the product, uh, sorry, project owner, but editor will, is also a powerful role. And viewer is a read-only role. So these are the primitive roles. More often than not, we're not going to use primitive roles and most companies will not use primitive roles too because they are the broad roles. I mean, you have a lot of permissions inside that roles that are not needed. And the predefined roles are created by Google again, but the predefined roles are created specifically for each services. Let's say that, you know, I want to use Google Cloud Storage uh, for my service account where my app wants to perform like writing certain objects inside the bucket. Right? So you, you can check for the predefined role that Google has created and then I can assign that role to the service account. And custom roles is something where you want to combine different roles. You, you, might, you might not find in predefined roles. You want to create a granular permissions. Let's say that you, know, you want to create a specific role for an app where app wants to perform Google, uh, you know, app wants to perform an object read and it, it should not write or anything, or it should not create a create an object inside a bucket. And also the app should perform uh, or execute Google Cloud functions from a VM, right? Or from anywhere. So basically then you would create those two, give those two granular permissions to a role and then attach that role to the service account. So the, that's, that's important when you go for the exam because exam, they specifically ask about what is the custom role like you know what is ex what exactly is the custom role that you want to give to do certain operation and this flow is again uh, which i got it from the documentation i'm going to put the link of all these three i mean three important stuff inside the description but here you will know that in this what what is the decision factor of creating the service account whether your application is running you know outside of gcp or it is inside the GCP so based on that whenever you create a service account you know you will have to create keys right so service account will have keys to talk uh, to to talk to GCP APIs or to, to are authorized to talk to GCP APIs so that's the that's the chat here which is a very good chat that I thought I would share with you guys and then we're going to see the demo of creating a service account and I'm going to give storage object creator or, or viewer permissions to a bucket and, and see how it's going to work okay now let's go to the console so i have have activated cloud shell too just in case if i have to perform any operations from cloud shell now go to the hamburger symbol as usual and go to the iam section because service account is part of iam uh, we haven't covered anything else part of iam but you know you are going to learn pretty much now you know three types of roles and then you're going to see the permissions inside a role that way you're, you're going to cover important sections of IAM with the service accounts. All right, so now first I'm going to create a service account. See, demo account. And the description is that this account or this SVC account is going to have only object create and view okay create you can see that the service account id and the project name along with uh, this is sort of an email address and this is the format that's usually used in service account okay now we wanted to give like object create and object view right so we can search here specifically for that role and and as i as was discussing before you know these are the primitive roles 
editor, owner, and viewer. We're not going to give that, so we're going to search for object. So it says like GC GCS storage object viewer, and I want to give storage object creator to. So if you create, if you give admin, admin will have more broad perm, broad permission. So I don't want to do that. I just want to give specifically what that VM, uh, you know, what that application wants to do, right? So which is view and create. So continue. Update. So there, there might be an, uh, an instance where, you know, the permissions are not right. So you can just go with that. All right. So no change. So create, like I've said, you know, if you want to talk to uh, or, or if you want to do this operation from outside or from, you know, from uh, a different cloud or from on-prem, then you can create a key. But for this demo, we don't have to do that. Okay. So now this is the account. No keys. Now we'll go back to VM. And before that, I'm going to show you the default service accounts. So these are the service accounts like, you know, th these are the service accounts which I've created. But if you see uh, here, the app engine default service account and compute engine default service account, these two accounts are created as soon as we activate the APIs or you know, whenever we are trying to use the services for the first time. Now, if you go back to my video, you will see that, you know, when I was creating the VM, I used the default service account for my compute engine. Create instance, instance four. So here you're going to see in this section, what service account you want to use, right? So there are multiple service accounts which I've created and now I'm going to use the one that we have created right now, which is demo account. And you cannot remember to, I mean, one thing that you have to remember here is that you cannot set the scope for the user created service account, but you can set the scope for the default, um, you know, service account. Like if you see the default service account, you can set the scope, which means that what the service account or uh, the service account that is attached to the VM, what kind of operations it can perform. But the one for the user created one, you cannot do that. So I, you can only do that through the command line, which I'm going to show you how to do that. So create. So while this is getting created, you can go back to our notes. And we can see this two important commands. So the first command is instance four. I'm going to change the name. The first command is um, let me paste this. So what what this is going to do is that it's going to give the description of the compute engine in a JSON format. It's a very simple command. So gcloud compute instances describe and instance name, which is instance four, and then uh, format in JSON. So right now we have created an instance four. Right. So we can paste that here and do that in the Google Cloud Shell. It, it will ask if it is not able to find the instance uh, because there are many zones, which is not, I mean, our instance is, is part of uh, US Central 1A. Uh, so this is not right. Okay. As you can see, it showed the output. So one thing that specifically I want to see is, so what is the scope of uh, the service account? Because remember that whenever you create a user defined service account, and you attach their service account to uh, a VM, it should have the scope of cloud platform. Else, you know, you're going to get an error that you're not authorized to, uh, you know, perform operations. Even though you have given permissions, it will it will not work because the scope is not defined. And, and this is the scope, the cloud platform is the scope. And this can be only defined from the Google Cloud, cloud Shell as, as we have seen, it wasn't working from uh, the UI. Right, so this is the email and our scope is set, which we are good. And if it is not set, this is the command. And I'm going to 
paste these commands in the description as well. And this is the command where you can see that gcloud compute instances set service account instance name and service account name like the email address and the scopes which is cloud platform this is an alias for the whole uh, url okay now i'm going to connect to that instance from my desktop good i'll get the ip address of that Okay, if you remember, we gave only two permissions for, or we attached two roles to the service account. One role is to do object view, and the other role is to create an object, right? So creator and viewer role. So the command to create an object, or um, you know, view an object, is not gcloud, but there's a utility called gsutil. So gsutil. And I will check for the existing storage buckets. Storage bucket browser. And then I have this sample GK bucket. So I'll pick this up. GSUtil ls is for list, like your Linux command. GS. Okay, so the ls thing is working, right? So I mean, we gave viewer permission, so ls is able to list the bucket, list the <coughs> objects inside the bucket. Now we have to check whether our, the, our other permission where we gave to create an object is working or not. So for that, I will just create one more file here, demo file, and then gsutil cp demo file to gs sample gk okay which is good so we are able to view the object and as well as create an object inside a bucket so for verification let's try one more command where we're going to create a bucket right so gs util mb gs sample gk one two three four whatever right okay this is an expected output, right? This is what we want to try. Um, if you see the error here, it says that the service account does not have this permission. Um, I'm sorry. Storage dot buckets create to the, the project, which is the project number. And because the service account did not have this permission, we are not able to create, uh, you know, the bucket using this command. So this is an important demonstration for you all because you know this is how you're going to restrict access and this is the best practices that Google has recommended to use user defined service accounts anywhere uh, wherever you want to you know consume made up rather GCP services. I think that's pretty much it and I hope this is useful for you and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section I'll be able to help you out and if not you know enjoy the rest of your day.